guys it's dragon here back with another video and today guys we are back with another top 10 video because you guys really seem to like my top 10 videos and you know what they're really unique they're fun to make and i think they're really interesting and informative so yeah we're back today with another top 10 video um today we're going to be looking at top 10 base locations for pve servers i will do one for pvx and pvp as well but my expertise is pve since that is the um version of art that i like to play in the most so yeah, um, let's get right into it. All right, guys, number 10 on the list, we have 5080. Now, the reason it's the lowest spot on the list is because this is a very, very common spot, south zone um, two, I think. And um, you will, if you're on a multiplayer server, there is most likely going to be a lot of small bases around this area and not to mention you'll probably get a lot of people that will just log off in your base as well it is a relatively safe area and it's really good because it's close to the swamp it's close to hunter cave and it's 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 pretty close and there's a lot of flat areas around as you can see right here and over there and even down there uh there's a lot of really really cool areas around this river and there's even water so it's really really good however this is a very very common spot for um especially beach bobs and stuff so it's it's just low down there because of that but this is a really really good spot and if you're in pve i really recommend building here Alright guys, next up we have around 6570 I believe, yes yeah, 6570, um, if you don't know this place is really close to the green obelisk, like insanely close to the green obelisk, and just pretty much um, anywhere in this area is a really really good spot to build, because as you can see there is water really close by, swamps really near, um, and it's just it's really really flat and there's like these little coves here that you can build on. Um, which is really really inspiring if you like flat areas and this is just a very very flat very resourceful spot there's rocks there's bushes there's trees there's water and there's even um a fair share of teams that can drop prime meat and this is a pretty cool alpha raptor spawn as well so this is a pretty um a pretty good spot and unicorns also like to spawn around here as well so yeah um this is a really really good spot for that and I highly recommend building here in PvE, um, even if it's just like on these cliffs as well, because you can do a lot here. I remember in my first um, ever server, we had a little shop here, an admin shop here, and uh, it was really, really, really re resourceful and useful, and everyone really liked it. And it's just a very central area, and you should probably try to steal this area before anyone else does, because this is a really, really, a really, really good area, especially for PvE builders. Next up is around 5085. Um, this spot is also pretty close to the Green Obelisk. There is a swamp right next to it. It's pretty close to Griffin Mountain, and it's an extremely flat area right off the ocean. Now, I remember I also built here, and this was one of my favorite base spots of all time, guys. And I will explain to you why in a second. First of all, there are these things called like parasers or whatever, and they like to spawn here as well. So you can get a lot of prime meat from those i don't really know why there's not any right now but yeah and then in the water this part of the ocean actually dips off really really like it's a really steep slope right off the bat so you can park like mozas and stuff really really close to the shore and this is really good if you want to have extra protection for your tames so i really 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 recommend um building here if you have a very very strong collection of water tames because this is a really really good spot and you can park them easily right along the coast here so yeah this spot is definitely on the list for sure next up is 7555 i believe and this spot is also really close to the green obelisk now, you'll find that a lot of these spots are actually close to the Green Obelisk 
because the green obelisk is extremely populated in pve servers i know that for a fact because of all of the building room this spot is really popular even though there's a lot of rocks because you can build on top of them which is really popular um and then if you just fly right over here there's this flat spot right off the coast here and it's just really popular especially because there's a lake right over here and there's just a lot of flat little coves that people like to build on around this area so this is definitely a really really popular spot um and it, it definitely it's definitely extremely laggy in most um unofficial servers that i play on and it's also not only one of the most flat areas but it's also one of the most beautiful areas as well and you can also just go snatch a griffin right over there because you know griffin island and stuff so yeah this is definitely a really really popular spot among the pveers and maybe even the pvpers i don't know but this is just um really popular for the pves <laughs> Um, number five on the list is 8540. Um, this spot is in the winter biome and is very, very popular among the PVEers because as you can see, there's like a little island here and people really like this, especially when they want to like build like a ship or something because it's small, it looks like it's floating along the water and you can even build like a little bridge across as well. And even the other side is flat and there's like a little waterfall as well. So this is just a really cool spot. On Libop, if you didn't watch that video already, um, one of my tribe mates actually built here and they made really good use of the spot and it's just a really, really, really wonderful secluded spot instead of the snow and a lot of people like to use it. Not only is it resourceful in stone, wood, and berries, it is also very resourceful in water and it even has oil nodes as well. Um, so this is definitely really good. However, I will say you will need turrets because um, there are RGs and Rexes that spawn along here as well, so be very, very, very mindful of that before you build here. <laughs> All right, guys, next is at 5015, I believe. Um, this is the iceberg and this little spot over here. So they're both included in this spot because they're basically the same area. This spot over here is like a little secluded area. There's like a little cove that leads down to it. And it's like a little flat area that's really, really popular um, for PvE builders as well because of its flat area. It's directness off the coast and the little path as well. And the cliff, um, I will say it is a very extremely high rex. Um, it's very, very populated in rexes and uh, there's often a rex whenever I go here and it's not populated. Um, now if we fly over here to this iceberg, this is definitely one of the better icebergs. Um, as you can see, I did build here before. Um, this took a while. It was a freestyle build, but that's not the point. Anyway, so this is a very spacious um, little island, and there's nothing that really flies over here, and there's not a lot of things that can kill you, so you don't really need turrets if you're in PvE. And there's also, like, built-in water pens as well, so you can go from underneath and park your dinos in the iceberg, which is amazing, and this spot is definitely an amazing spot for PvE. Not only, I think it's good for PvP as well, but it's really, really good for PvE. Um, especially because you don't even have to worry about not only people, but you also don't have to worry about um, like dinos as well. So this is a really, really good spot and you can build your heart's content without having to worry about your stuff getting killed by monsters while you're offline. Well, dinosaurs. <laughs> Coming at number three, I'm gonna be a little biased here, guys. Definitely the peninsula at 7014. Now, there are a lot of reasons for this, and let me just get right into them. So, first of all, it's your own little, like, slab of land, kind of similar to the one um, in the snow. I think it was number five spot or number four spot, one of the two. Um, but as you can see, there is not a lot of things that spawn here. Yes, you get theories once in a while and you will need turrets. However, um, there is a lot of things you can do with this spot and it's really easy to park water tames around this area. So I really, really recommend building here, um, especially because it's very spacious. Um, there's a really easy way for you to make a bridge as well. And you're really close to the red obelisk. So you contribute your artifacts in no time at all. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a really good spot, especially because there's like little shallow parts with the water here. Um, you can get some biotoxin because the jellyfish spawn around here as well. 
And this is just a really, really good spot to build for PvE players as well. I know for PvP, it's like an open area, but for PvE, this is a really, really good spot. And I build here in pretty much every server. <laughs> yeah, because it's that good. All right, guys, moving on, we are at... 2565, I believe, and also known as the Hidden, Le the Hidden Lake. Hidden Lake is very, very, very popular um, because it's like basically, it's, it's like a hidden little cove and it has a little lake as well. And there's like a really flat area, a lot of coves. And this is a really, really popular building spot. And even behind the Hidden Lake, where I built my base, it's really popular as well because it's flat. There is a little cove as well, little lake. And that's why I really like to build there. And then Carnal Island. Carnal Island, um, it's popular as well because it's your own island. It's basically like Herbo Island, except you are actually, like you, there's more threat, obviously, so only turrets, it's difficult to maintain, however, um, is you have this huge island all to yourself and this can be very very good for big tribes and there's a lot of most of the time carnal island is either taken up by event spaces or if not almost someone snatches it up immediately before it can get taken this is definitely a really really good spot and it's very very secluded it's close to the hidden lake hidden lake is also very popular extremely popular um and it's really, really close to the lake and the water and the ocean as well. So yeah, this is a really, really good spot. And finally, at the number one spot, we have Herbivore Island all the way in the corner here. Um, I'm pretty sure it is at 80, um, 85. So yes, 80, 85. I did build here first as well when I started single player. Um, this is a very, very popular spot. There is a cove, you have your own island, and there is def like, there's pretty much no carnivores, so nothing will like purposely hit your base or anything. And it's very, very popular among PvX, PvE, and PvP, mostly taken on by the admins or alpha tribes in, P in like unofficial. And this is just a very sought after island, and more than one tribe usually live on the island as well if they can. And uh, yeah, so this is definitely the number one spot because it's secluded. It's really far away from the rest of the land. So it's like pretty much different. It's like a whole other island. And you also have your own cove, your own little slab of croissant land, and you have a beach all around it with nothing very harmful like Rexes or Gigas spawning. The only problem I'd say with Herbivore Island is definitely the fact that you get Brontos that fall on your base frequently and Titans can also spawn on Herbivore Island, and it's pretty common and not unheard of that they spawn and ruin people's bases. So do be aware of that before you decide to build here. But other than that, this is a very peaceful and very, very, very nice spot to build, and this is why this is the number one spot. And yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up the top 10 video. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Of course, if you did enjoy, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I really, 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 really hope that you stick around for more of my videos. And thank you so, so much for your support. Um, yeah, so see you all in the next video. Goodbye.